Welcome back to the Posture Screen Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Motion Capture Analysis tool to add an axial rotation posture assessment. So, if I go into one of our clients, into this child, we'll see that I have a four posture analysis, which gives us a lot of good detailed information, especially that we have this new back view that we can go ahead and, and look at. But we can also do above, down, and the way we do this is using the motion capture so we can create a video and I'm going to go ahead and put a grid line on here. Now the reason why you want to use a video is because it's very hard to position the camera in just one snapshot. But if we have a video we can go ahead at 30 frames per second be able to choose the right um, angle. So what we want to do is we want to walk up on the, on the patient and if this is an adult we may have to use a chair. But what we need to do is we need to be able to see, okay, um, above, down, and be able to see the, you know, the, um, the feet as well too. So we can go ahead and find the right snapshot. There I can see the, the child's pelvis, I can see the feet, I can see everything I want. And um, with this, what we're gonna do is, I'm going to hit the line tool. Now we can use the angle tool as well, and I'll, I'll show a snapshot of that too. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the plane of the feet, okay? I'm gonna change the color. And with this, if he was wearing tighter shorts, we could probably see the, the posterior glutes. But what we're gonna do on this one is, I'm just gonna use like points. Um, I'm gonna just use the, uh, try and do the best bisection of the hips uh, that I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go right through here. Kind of using the pockets as an idea. And then, let's change the color. We're going to go ahead and do the posterior of the, the scap. And then, let's go ahead and change it. We're going to go through the shoulder joints, the AC. And then what we can do is we can also pass through center of the ear. Okay? So now what we do is we have effectively um, a good representation of all the axial postures to add to our posture assessment. I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of this. Okay? And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and erase the lines. And if we wanted to do angles, we could use the angle tool as well too. Um, so like if I was gonna use the angle tool on, let's just say, the shoulders. I'll just show you this. So basically we would find the shoulder, and then what we would do is find the other point here. And then we want to do a horizontal line and do the best fit we can. We can drag that down just a little bit. We'll drag it down a little bit more. And then so we can see that that's about a five degree rotation uh, posterior on the left side. So that's how you would use the angle tool, okay? So if I go back and I want to add this to the report, all I have to do is turn this on and now I can add that to the report. And I've already done an angle, so you can see that we've already done angles there too if I wanted to add that to the report. Um, when we extend the lines, we can go ahead and do that as well too. So I just added the one image, and if I go to the send, what's great about this is now if I preview what this assessment is, I have the four views and all the measured displacements right through here, okay? And after we go through the four views of the client, the next view is above down. Okay, so that's how to measure and uh, objectively document axial rotation using Posture Screen Mobile. For more information, reach out to us at support at posturescreen.com. Thanks.